Greetings shooting fans. In this video I'm going to be exploring whether or not it actually makes a difference what BB you stick in your BB gun. For comparison I'll be using these sports marketing air gun gold standard in performance BBs plated solid steel for use in most 4.5mm BB guns. These Umarex steel BBs which I think you may all be familiar with. These rather interesting low ricochet BBs from H&N. These lead gamo BBs. And these rather unusual offering from ASG blaster 4.5mm plastic BBs. And to ensure a fair comparison, I'll be shooting them all through my 1911 Blackwater R2. And I have four magazines. Each mag has been loaded with a different brand of BBs. And I'll be comparing the BBs on re reliability, accuracy, overall performance and value for money. The Umarex BBs have very little information on the uh, container other than their 4.5 millimeter steel BBs or 0.177 if you prefer. Likewise these offerings from uh, Sports Marketing again just the caliber some safety warnings and again the caliber. These blaster plastic BBs give you the caliber of 4.5 millimeter again 0.177 but also that they are 0.13 of a gram um, and I think that's it yep the H&N Excites give somewhat more information 4.5, 1.77, 0 0.48 0 gram, 7.4 grain and finally the Gamos 0.53 gram and 8.18 grain making them the heaviest of all I've owned the Blackwater R2 for some time I have posted a couple of reviews of this pistol already and I'll post the links below I have fired many thousands of BBs through it it tends to function extremely reliably it is one of the better BB guns certainly blowback BB guns that you can purchase and I think this will give a fair and balanced um, comparison of the BBs I'll be using today from left to right I have the Umarex steel BBs the gold standard from sports marketing the H&N's which are a slightly darker uh, copper colour and finally the blaster 4.5 millimeter plastic okay so I've decided to test out the single action Colt as well with the different BB's see how that works I'm just going to go into the garden I've already set the targets up and I'm going to do four mags with the 1911 so I'm going to be shooting from exactly six meters I've measured it out with tape and I'm going to be doing one target for each mag. I'm starting off from a rested position and I'm going to be shooting for accuracy. Um, semi-auto first the SMK Gold uh, performed reasonably well uh, with most of the shots um, pretty much where I wanted them to be the 4.5mm blaster also did well um, 
I think they were the, m the most shots actually in the ball. The Umarex Steel grouped really tightly. It is worth saying that they were the first group I shot and I did change my point of aim uh, slightly after that first group but they are a really tight group and all the shots apart from two were actually in the target zone. And then finally we've got the H&M Excites. Again, reasonable but uh, not perhaps as good as the other ones. Uh, okay, the next test is going to be uh, reliability so I'm just going to run through all four mags uh, rapid fire. Um, first mag is the gold standards. There's between 12 and 15 BBs in each mag. Oh, that's hung up on the first shot, don't know why. Seem to cycle through the rest okay though. Uh, next is the blaster plastics. And that's hung on the first shot as well. Uh, these will be the H&N uh, Excites. And again, hanging on the first shot. I don't know why that is. And finally, the uh, Umarex Steels. Actually, you know what, I'm going to try. Um, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to put that down to maybe it was just the way I'd loaded the BBs in, so um, we'll just assume that they all function reasonably well. Um, didn't have any hang-ups there at all, apart from on the first shot. Okay, so I'm going to do the Colt single action now. I've got the, uh, hang on, let me remind myself. I've got the um, sports marketing um, gold rounds in, uh, six rounds on target. A bit of a spread there. Try again with a uh, different type. Okay, so I'm going for the um, plastic blazers <laughs> wow what a difference what a difference got one flyer there but three actually um, in the bull circle pretty pleased with that Okay, I uh, can't remember what's next. Oh, these are the Umarex standard steel. <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, obviously missed with one there. So, uh, not bad though. Uh, okay, last of all, got the um, H&N Excites. These are the um, lead BBs that are actually got a coating on. Oh, and he's forgot to put the target up. Doesn't help, does it? And again, that's a nice tight group. Um, I think any variation there you can put down to shooter. With the Colt single action, the SMK goals performed by far the worst. The, they were just all over the place. I can't put that down to shooter error. That was definitely BBs. The blasters, uh, wow, I was well impressed with those. Um, now, I don't know about the the flyer to the bottom left, whether that was shooter error or what, maybe more testing is needed, but well impressed with that uh, group and three in the bull. The Umarex Steel also grouped really well. Now I thought I'd missed with one of my shots, but I think that possibly that hole just below the centre there is uh, two shots in one hole. Benefit of the doubt. And the H&Ns again performed you know, less well. No, not as good as the Blasters or the Umarex Steel. Mm -hmm.